Greater Intimacy with God, a daily devotional for Tuesday, November 3rd, 2020. The verse comes from Ephesians 4, 17 through 19, New King James. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that you should no longer walk as the rest of the Gentiles walk in the futility of their mind, having their understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God because of the ignorance that is in them, because of the blindness of their heart, who being past feeling have given themselves over to lewdness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Past feeling is the title of today's devotion. In 1906, a beautiful baby boy was born into a German home. As a child, he was sensitive to the things of the Lord, but as a young adult, he became very bitter. At age 26, he joined the Nazi party and became known as the Butcher of Germany. Adolf Eichmann murdered six million Jews and bragging said, I will leap into my grave laughing. After being caught and tried, he had not changed. He was executed and died as he had lived a bitter and evil man, sneering regrets are for small children. Here is a vivid example of a man past feeling. God's word warns that this can happen, and when it does, hell spills over into our world. The Hitlers and Stalins were once children with tender hearts, but something happened along the way to drain them of all consciousness of God and compassion for man. Little by little, they stopped caring until they were beyond feeling. Because it is urgent that we sustain compassion for others and love for God, preachers plow the fallow ground of our hearts. This is why ministers urge people to give and to be compassionate. The only antidote to man like Eichmann is people who love. We should examine ourselves to see if we are still moved by the hurts of humanity. A minister once said, Break my heart with the things that break the heart of God. This prayer reminds us that believers ought to be caring people. Those who have shut off the flow of compassion will die in bitterness. Those who love God and their fellow man will live forever. The Bible says, They that sow in tears shall reap in joy. Psalm 126.5 Pray with me. Let us therefore testify in you, Lord, that we no longer walk in the futility of the ungodly, nor with ignorance and blindness in our hearts, but with compassion and tenderness, giving ourselves over to reverent fear toward holiness and selflessness, that we are indeed taught by Christ and have put off the old nature with its corrupt and deceitful desires. We are renewed in the spirit of our minds. The old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. We are your ambassadors, Jesus, that we would implore others to be reconciled as we are to you, Lord. You who knew no sin, became sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Okay, <clears throat> and the links are there if you want to check that out. And a link for some worship, heal song, Hosanna. Good song. Like uh, there's a line in there, uh, break my heart with what breaks yours. Really like that. Really yeah, that's a that's a special song so give that a listen hope that blesses your day all right so give us a thumbs up and click subscribe and share with a friend all right and uh, leave a comment question prayer request always glad to hear from you always glad for your prayers and support so have a good day god bless we'll see you tomorrow <laughs>